Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about the new, or I should probably say relatively new, liquid lipstick by NARS and these are the Power Matte Lip Pigments. I have been living in this lipstick, loving this lipstick, so of course I wanted to share my review and also show you the swatches because there are some truly beautiful shades. So to begin, I want to tell you a little bit about this product. Of course, you might be thinking, well, it's just lipstick. Um, but this is a lipstick that is designed for potency and precision. And one thing you'll notice about the lipstick wand is that it's not your typical doe foot applicator. It actually comes to almost like a tapered point for precision. So you can use this to kind of line your lips. You don't necessarily even need to use a lip liner which is kind of nice. It helps you really get a very precise application with the wand. Also, these come in 20 shades. They have a matte finish, lightweight feel. It is of course long wear, smudge and resistant proof, and non-drying. I will say that one coat of this liquid lipstick will not dry out your lips. I've worn it for several hours. You can eat, you can drink, you can go to bed and wake up the next morning and you'll still have lipstick on your lips but it doesn't feel drying. I feel like with most long wear matte liquid lipsticks, unfortunately it's just kind of goes with the territory that they tend to be a little bit drying. So a few things you could always layer something on top, but of course something creamy or something that has oil is going to break up the product. It's going to take away that long lasting factor, unfortunately, but if you have really dry lips and you need hydration, that's just kind of the price you're going to have to pay. If you layer too many um, coats of this lipstick, I think you do kind of have that tightening feel. But with just one layer, one application, I actually found this lipstick to be quite comfortable compared to any other liquid lipstick that I've tried. I hate matte lipsticks. I love the way they look. And of course, I love a long wear, so I still wear them. Um, it's kind of a love-hate relationship, but I would say I've been really impressed with just how comfortable these are when you don't layer too much of the product, and that's probably true for most liquid lipsticks. This is what the box looks like when you first purchase the product. So this is one I bought. This one is called American Woman, and I actually wore this lipstick shade in my last video, which was all about the new YSL foundation and concealer. So I'm also wearing that foundation and concealer today, and I'll link the video down below in case you missed it. But this is what it looks like. So standard packaging really, you'll see it's the sleek all black packaging. It's matte so you can kind of tell that it's going to be a matte product. One of the precautions that is actually listed on the NARS website is you have to shake the product. So nothing crazy, just give it a little shake or even kind of mix it around whenever you're first getting out the product. It's very liquidy, so you also want to be careful not to... I tend to be very careless with my lipstick. Maybe you're not. Um, but you want to be careful not to tilt it over, let it um, spill out, because it is just a more thin, almost watery, but very pigmented formula. And so it will stain, and it also it, it will leak out of, out of the tube. Whereas I don't feel like you have to really be as conscious or aware of that with other liquid lipsticks. So it's actually a good thing because given that the formula is so thin, one of the things that I love to do with this lipstick is you can actually create a really beautiful ombre effect. So these two colors don't stop an American woman. I wouldn't say these would be two of the best shades to kind of mix, but if you wanted to do maybe a mauve color and then a deeper purple or maybe a warm red with more of an orange shade. Because it is so thin, you can really create a nice ombre effect. I'm going to go ahead and try it just so you can kind of feel what I'm talking about. So let's see. I'll do this right here. So I already had swatched these on my hand, but just so you see what I mean, if I do a swatch of the red, and then I take a swatch of American Woman on the other side, and I'm going to do my best not to mix these together or get the wand dirty. So I have them next to each other, and then just with your finger, that's actually really pretty, you can create a really beautiful 
ombre shade on your lip. Yeah, that's actually really pretty. That worked out nicely. <laughs> I'm glad I experimented. Um, but the one thing I will say, probably the only con that I can really think of, is that they do transfer a little bit more than some of the other liquid lipstick formulas that I wear. So whenever I use my double intensity from Chanel, I can touch my lips and I really don't get any um, transfer. However, with this, sometimes if I touch or I can smear it a little bit, which part of that, you can kind of see it comes off. So you do get a little bit of transfer. Um, I will say that the formula does have a little bit of slip to it and a little bit of creaminess, which I think actually makes it so comfortable to wear. So it's not going to be as drying on your lips. So. It's not a, the biggest deal in the world, but just something to be aware of. It's still going to be long wearing. You can still eat and drink with it, and it's not going to disappear on you. But it's just a little bit of those pigments will transfer if you're not careful. But now I'm going to show you all of the swatches. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any of your comments or questions down below. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe.